Hi guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. The global pandemic caused a massive lockdown of transport and thus a massive decline in air pollution. Before and after pictures of places such as Delhi and India shows this massive reduction in air pollution. The Himalayas even came into view for the first time in 30 years as India went into lockdown. So will these factors boost the already growing trend of clean and renewable energy? I think so, as even before this crisis, the sales of electric vehicles were growing at a massive 60% per year, according to some estimates. With transport turning electric at a faster and faster pace, it makes sense to invest into this industry during this time. But in this video, I'm not going to tell you to invest in Tesla, although this is a tremendous company. However, it does have a lot of speculation attached to it and a high valuation. Instead, I will ask you to consider what raw material do all these electric car manufacturers need? What do they need for their batteries and their power supplies? The answer is lithium. According to CNBC, as electric vehicle production ramps up worldwide, a supply crunch for battery materials is looming. And according to Bloomberg, all the supply from the globe's major lithium miners probably won't be enough to meet the demand. This means the lithium mining industry could be one of those which is ready to pop big time. So in this video, I'm gonna analyze the lithium mining industry and outline three stocks which will allow you to take advantage of this growing trend. These stocks have the potential upside of 10X. And as the great investor Peter Lynch says, you only need a few of these in your portfolio and you're set for life. So if you're feeling energized, get ready and let's dive in. Welcome back to Motivation to Invest. Before we get started, feel free to smash that like button. That allows us to continue producing more content like this for you guys. In addition, if you would like more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I personally have invested into, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Be sure to turn the notification bell on, that way you'll get notified when I release future videos and stock picks. It's good to be first on the scene when a great stock is at a great price. With that being said, let's get into the video. The International Energy Agency forecasts there will be over 125 million electric vehicles and trucks on the road within the next 10 years. Batteries for these cars will require hundreds of tons of lithium. This is because at an estimated three pounds or 1.4 kilos of lithium per kilowatt of power, the smallest electric vehicle that runs on 20 kilowatt hour batteries will use approximately 60 pounds of lithium. Big cars with 100 kilowatt batteries will use around 300 pounds of lithium. Right now, today's average battery pack is 55.6 kilowatt hours, which leads to a lithium requirement for the average electric vehicle battery size of 166 pounds of lithium. Thus, the world is going to need at least 20.8 billion pounds or 10.4 million tons of lithium over the next decade. Global X ETF analyst reports that lithium miners are planning for scenarios where annual demand exceeds 1.1 million tons by 2025. To put this into perspective, the estimates represent a 50% revision upwards from 2019's demand and almost four and a half times jump from 2018's demand of 270,000 tonnes. Tesla is one company which has an insatiable hunger for lithium. One major reason for this is due to its battery gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. The gigafactory makes approximately 20 gigawatts of battery power a year and its goal has been raised to 35 kilowatt hours for 2020 and beyond. It will take between 60,000 and 85,000 tons of lithium carbonate annually to keep the gigafactory running smoothly, according to industry analysts who follow Tesla. Put that into context, the entire global supply of lithium peaked at 270,000 tons in 2018. US Today reported we've gone electric and there's no going back at this point. Lithium is our new fuel, but like fossil fuels, the reserves we're currently tapping into are finite, and that's what investors can take to the bank. Tesla's best strategy will be to lock up long-term supply of lithium. Musk says he'd like a US-based lithium mine, and that could be great news for some of the lithium mining stocks on my list. But it's not just electric cars, there's also home renewable energy storage. 
mainly Tesla power walls. The Tesla power wall is a rechargeable lithium ion battery for home energy storage. The residential energy storage market was worth around 6.3 billion in 2019. This is expected to nearly triple in the next four years to $17.5 billion, according to Market to Market's research consultancy. The power walls weigh in at 276 pounds, and Tesla's data sheet shows that each power wall is made up of 33% lithium. In fact, Tesla has already sold at least 3,000 of these residential use, 13.5 kilowatt hour power walls and the state of Vermont has ordered another 2,000. Home energy storage, such as Tesla's Powerwall, is not just an option for many homes, it's becoming an increasing necessity in certain cities. For example, during the California wildfires, power outages occurred en masse, highlighting the need even more for a local energy supply. Elon Musk even offered a $1,000 discount to those affected by days of power failures caused by wildfires. But it's not just Tesla, Amazon.com has recently ordered 100,000 electric powered delivery vans. This is a big deal because Amazon delivers 10 billion packages a year. And in September 2019, Jeff Bezos pledged to make the company carbon neutral. The first step is by ordering these 100,000 electric delivery vehicles from US design and manufacturing startup Rivian. Bezos said the first electric delivery vans will be on the road by 2021 and all 100,000 will be deployed by 2024. Amazon currently has 30,000 vehicles delivering customer orders in the United States. The CEO of Daimler Trucks, Roger Nielsen, declared that the beginning of the post-internal combustion engine era for commercial vehicles is here. He said the road to emissions-free driving will be driven by battery electric vehicles. Daimler Trucks is the largest commercial heavy-duty truck maker in the US. So where will all this lithium come from? Well, one place is the mysteriously named Lithium Triangle. This vast triangle is made up of corners of Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Reasonable estimates are that the triangle holds about 54% of the world's entire lithium resources. So how can you take advantage of this growing trend? Well, here are my top three lithium mining stocks. Number one on my list is Alpha Lithium. Alpha Lithium, with the ticker symbol ALLIF, has a property which covers 265 square miles in the heart of the Lithium Triangle at Argentina's undisturbed Toliar Salt Flats. My sources have informed me that Alpha's drilling licenses have been approved and the company can begin exploration immediately. Then there's also low tax mining. Argentina's president, Mauricio Macri, is a former civil engineer. Since elected in 2015, Macri has eliminated export taxes on minerals, as well as doing away with import taxes on equipment and parts for mining operations. This means 100% of this exploration will be done in a low tax or even no tax environment. This is unlike major players such as Albemarle Corp which established its operation in an era of heavy taxation. Thus, this gives Alpha Lithium the potential for a massive upside of 10x. However, it is more risky as a microcap stock. So just be aware of that before investing. In addition, the majority of investing platforms in the UK don't seem to offer access to buy shares in the stock, which is disappointing. However, for North American investors, this is definitely one of the best potential growth stocks in the lithium industry. Number two on my list is LiveNet Resources. LiveNet Resources, ticker symbol LTHM, had its IPO in October 2018. Couldn't have come public at worst time as there was plenty of lithium supply to meet the demand. Thus, lithium prices were low. But LiveNet was well run and it was carved out of the world famous FMC Corp. So should thrive in Argentina in the future. Number three on my list is a less risky and well-established diversified mid-cap stock, Albemarle Corp. Albemarle deals in lithium, bromine, and catalysts. This offers it more diversification than a pure play lithium mining stocks. Bromine is used in flame retardants and catalysts are used in oil production. These offer cash flow into the business while the main growth segment is Albemarle's lithium business. This is an undervalued play and nothing has changed about the company except that lithium supply and demand is currently balanced. According to my stock screener, Stockopedia, Albemarle Corp is the best stock on balance.
However, this doesn't take into account the lack of info on the micro stock Alpha Lithium, which I believe has the highest upside potential, but also the most risk. So what are the risks investing into Lithium? Lithium is a commodity and thus cyclical. Lithium prices are defined by supply, demand and cost of mining. If you invested in Lithium back in 2017, you would have seen it hit a massive bubble before crashing down and a lot of people lost a lot of money. In 2018, Morgan Stanley predicted a further decline in Lithium prices. However, it's clear that a lot has changed since 2018. So it is now the time for Lithium to boom again. Many predictions think the demand for Lithium will increase massively. So what about mining costs? The cost of mining varies massively between different mining groups. For example, Ioneer is one of the lowest cost Lithium suppliers, which produces Lithium at $1,796 per tonne. To put things into perspective, the average cost of Lithium is currently $13,000 per tonne. Although in 2018, it reached $17,000 Per ton. In Albemarle's investor presentation, they stated they have a low cost position globally and Alpha Lithium will be able to take advantage of the new low tax environment in Argentina, which gives it a massive edge over its competitors. Whichever stock you decide to invest into, remember this is not financial advice. So please assess your own investing goals, risk tolerance and budget and don't invest anything into a risky micro cap, which you cannot afford to lose. With that being said, what is your favorite lithium mining stock? And what do you think about the industry in general? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash that like button and definitely subscribe. See you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB who we running with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah.